Alright, so I just wanted to break that video up. Um, this error, the name contains invalid characters. So let's actually change this to one so we can see what country we're dealing with. Or we don't, we don't want to do that. We just know number 27. So something it doesn't like with this, and I know it's the parentheses. So we somehow, it doesn't like the parentheses. So there's a couple things we could do here. We could use a different field, so we could change the name of the file to say this field. This doesn't look like it would cause any issues, but that's not very descriptive. I'd rather use this. Um, so there's, we can Google this error together just um, to see what comes up. So the name contains invalid characters. So let's just do a, a Google search of that. All right. Let's see what's on this website. Um, I know we're, we're going to need to use the replace tool in Python. So Python replace. Basically, we're just going to replace. Anytime there's a parenthesis, we're going to replace it with something else. So how this tool works, it's taking a variable here, and you're saying dot replace, and then this is what you want to pr replace, and this is what you want to replace it with. So if you take a look at this attribution again, we notice there's two parentheses here. And um, we need to change those, so we can go back here. Now how I'm going to do this, I'm going to make a new variable called formatted output name set that equal to our x1 which is the name and then we're going to do something to it to this um, x1 we're going to dot replace these need to be in strings well if you're working with letters um, so we need to replace an open like this bracket and we're going to replace that so separate it by comma and now what do we want to replace that with let's just replace it with an underscore Okay, we also need to replace the other side of the parentheses, so to do that, you just dot replace again. Basically, do the same thing, but this time you use this parentheses. Okay, and what do we want to replace it with? Underscore. Okay, so this should solve this issue. There might be some other file naming errors, but we'll, we'll run it now and fix them as we come across. So far, these all look like they won't cause any errors, but... I picked this field in particular because some of these fields they they had like accent signs. Um, let's see if I can find one. Like right here, the name one, that accent sign would cause issues. Now there are ways to fix that by encoding it into like UTF-8, I think, but I didn't want to get involved with that. That's more Python stuff. But let's just give this a try and see what happens. Um, let's go to that outputs folder. Alright. Sorry, I did that on a different screen. I just deleted all the outputs. Oh, spelled replace wrong. Alright, so it's going through printing the name, which that happens right here, and then it's doing all these functions. So we could, after this, say, finished converting successfully. We'll do that next time we edit it. Uh, yeah. So now we got another error here. Oh, I something wrong with this. This doesn't look right. Dot replace. That looks right. Oh, you know what? We forgot to. So when we change, this is where we actually create the feature name. We didn't change this. We still have it using X1. So we actually need to pop in that new variable we made, formatted output name. 
All right, so let's go back to the outputs, delete them all. And so we'll go outside of this, all of this, and when it gets through everything, we'll just have it print finished. And also we can add a print statement here, print something like successfully converted and we can use those string formatters again successfully converted and let's just use that new variable we made format and a formatted output name alright so let's give that a try Now there are 255 countries, so this could take a little bit. Uh, it could also maybe stress your computer a little bit. I was looking at the performance on this computer, and it got up to about 30, or it says 88% right now, but it should slow down. Okay, so just be warned. If it gets high, just cancel it. It should be able to run it fine. So it's going to create 255 shapefiles. There's so many items here because all the shapefiles are composed of multiple files here. But if we were to view it in ARC, you would be able to see. There should eventually be exactly 255 items in here. So another thing, I'm going to add a, a, a line break after after it so it kind of breaks it up every time successfully so to do that we'll just the way to do that in Python is plus slash n why does that look weird oh because we're already in a string <laughs> slash n okay looks good to me it's still, still churning away um, yeah, this is a little higher than I thought. I ran it earlier; it was somewhere it was hovering around thirty, forty percent. Another problem I just thought of. So there's multiple. In some instances, there are multiple countries with the same name. So Australia, for example, has I guess multiple areas that are technically part of Australia but might have a different name like right here Australia is the country then there's this little bit of information so what would happen is when it creates a file called Australia it would create the file and the next one would just overwrite it so we need to further even make these items more unique so a quick way to do that we could just rename this file cities in and put in an underscore curly braces and we'll just add this FID number to it so that makes it very unique um, they'll all have different numbers and to do that we can so now if you just have empty braces by default you can do that when there's only one thing in here but if we put multiple inputs here um, we're gonna use uh, what is it? x0 is our FID number so this needs to be called 0 and this is 1 all right, so it looks like it finished. Let's go take a look at these outputs. There's a lot of them. Uh, let's look at them in arc. Refresh this. All right, we'll just pull some of these in and take a look. Looking good to me. See Australia. It must have got over. There must be a small area of Australia that that's not this big area. Yeah, I don't know where that one is, but it'll be fixed. Brazil. Oops. All right, this looks like it worked. Um, let's go fix that one issue and then rerun it. So again, the issue was caused by um, there's multiple, sometimes multiple features that have the same value, and we just want to we want separate file names that are unique. So we want 255 unique names and a couple of them these wouldn't be unique there would only be one Australia um, and to fix that we just tacked on that FID number to the file name um, so let's give that a, a try
Alright guys, this video is getting a little bit long. I'm going to cut it short and um, we'll pick up in a new video.